joining me with more uh, on this. So important information, Natasha, that in fact a verdict has been reached and we actually, we know the verdict. Yes, we have that in, Andrew. I've just been handed a copy mm -hmm. of two of the individuals. We are told that the operations manager, Jean Demetra, has been found not guilty on all criminal charges. And we have found out that traffic controller Le Richard Labrie has been found not guilty. I've got a final verdict that's just being handed to me. Harding, Tom Harding, the locomotive engineer, not guilty of criminal negligence, not guilty of dangerous operations of railway operations, of railway equipment causing death or not guilty of dangerous operation of railway equipment. Okay, so the long and short of it, Andrew, is that all three accused in this trial uh, have been found not guilty. They were each accused of criminal negligence leading to the death of 47 people. That was 47 individual counts. None of them have been found guilty of criminal negligence. There was a possibility that Two might, have, two might have been guilty or one might have been guilty or there would have been lesser charges potentially as a possibility for the jury moving forward. But clearly, after going through weeks and weeks of information and testimony, it just wasn't enough. The uh, prosecution did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that these three individuals uh, led to the death in terms of criminal negligence um, to those 47 people losing their lives. So that is information that has just broken. I'm just going to turn around because I think something mm -hmm. else is being handed to me, Andrew. And this is all three accused have been acquitted on all charges, as we have mentioned. The judge in this, Justice Dumas, had mentioned weakness of the proof during the earlier proceedings of the jury. So you'll remember that when he initially gave his um, instructions to the jury, it took nine hours to go through those instructions. And he repeated again and again that all of the allegations, all of the information that is being presented to the jury must prove to them beyond any reasonable doubt that there was criminal negligence involved. He said, don't let your emotions get involved. Don't let media get involved. Don't let social media get involved. Look at the evidence that's been presented. And clearly to this jury, the evidence was not sufficient. All three of these men have been found not guilty. Yeah, and that is interesting. We're going to show you a live shot outside of the courtroom uh, in uh, Sherbrooke, Quebec, uh, where we can see some lawyers and others uh, leaving. We're obviously going to be watching for reaction in Sherbrooke uh, from the courtroom, uh, Natasha, and certainly from Lac Megantic, because, uh, you know, w w the jurors were instructed not to let their emotions interfere. Uh, but you can imagine that emotions are running high and that this is the talk of the town, if not the country, uh, that this not guilty verdict acquitted on all charges uh, the three Stick individuals, Tom Harding, Jean Demetre, and Richard Labrie. Natasha, maybe you can take us back to that disaster, that horrific disaster um, five years ago. That's right, Andrew. I, I have in my hand, this was the separate investigation carried out by the Transportation Safety Board, the federal branch of this, not part of the criminal investigation, but their own investigation, their summary into what happened, talking about those trains as they dislodged. They were meant to be secured safely. They were dislodged. They rolled down. And because they were carrying that crude oil, there was a massive explosion. And it those images, if you were working in the newsroom on that day, they are seared into your memory because you will see that explosion take place. You can hear the voices of those people in that community screaming and calling 911. And this is a small town, Lac Megantic, a very small town. And the center, the heart of that town, completely devastated, everything flattened. Um, those are the images that we all recall from that date uh, back in 2013 on that summer night, just a devastating night. And you're absolutely right, Andrew. Lots of people in Lac Megantic, but really right across the country, were looking to this trial, looking for some degree of redemption, that someone would have to be held responsible for 47 people losing their lives, but countless people's lives being completely turned upside down as a result of that devastation that took mm -hmm. place that night. If they were looking for that sense of conclusion in terms of someone being found guilty, being held responsible for what took place, that is certainly not what they got today. All three of the men accused and charged in this case have been found not guilty by the jury. And it is interesting, as you mentioned, that the Justice Dumas had mentioned the weakness of the proof uh, right during the, during the proceedings uh, and that they had, and as you say, they, they had a lot of instructions. And, and, and Natasha, they also had a few questions over this, um, over their nine days of deliberations. 
which uh, did lead some to wonder if they if it was going to be um, a hung jury. There was that possibility, um, and we certainly were here when the, the jury kept coming back with questions, and there was a concern that perhaps they can't reach a verdict or they can't come to a conclusion because of the complication of this. You had three separate individuals being tried together, but each of the individuals had to receive their own verdict. And potentially that might have been the cause of so many of these questions, how to move forward. And it certainly seemed none of us were in that jury room while they were deliberating, but it seemed that perhaps they couldn't come to a conclusion. Well, the judge was very clear on this, go back, figure it out. Presumably that's why the jury got nine hours worth of instructions before they even went into deliberations because the judge wanted to make clear, here's what you need to assess. Here's what you have to leave out. There's three different people. You can find multiple different verdicts. Here's everything you need to come to a decision. And it seemed as though they weren't ready to come to that decision, but now they have all three not guilty. All right. Thanks, Natasha. You're welcome.